Hello YouTube and welcome to your fourth Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to learn a little bit more about math and then we're going to learn about string concatenation. Now let's go ahead and delete all of this right here. Now you can use math operators inside of arguments. So this console.writeLine has these two parentheses and inside of it is what's called arguments. So let's go ahead and we'll back this up a bit and we'll put them back in so that it will tell us uh, the possible arguments so let's go ahead and find one that takes an integer so we got int value right here so it can write an int value to our console so what we can do is we can type 5 plus 10 now this is a valid integer value so let's go ahead and run this and you can see that it gives us the value 15 now we can also create a variable so we'll just call it my num and we don't want that let's set it equal to 10 so then if we do console.writeLine my num plus 10 it's gonna write out the value 20 but it's not actually going to change the value of my num so we'll do console.writeLine again and we'll just print out my num. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see we get the values 20, which is 10 plus 10, and then we get the value 10, which is the value of my num. And you can see that the it is preserved throughout this because we only add 10 to it inside of these arguments, and it's not actually changing the value of the variable. So now that we've got that out of the way, I'm doing math using math operators inside of arguments, let's work on string concatenation. So let's go ahead and declare a string now a string um, lowercase string could be considered a primitive data type but some people say it's not um, I don't think it is because it's pretty much like an array of characters if you want to look at it that way um, but it wasn't one of the first ones created so we'll just do string my string equals and let's do hello and now we can go ahead and write that to the lot to the console so console.writeLine my string. So when we write that out, it's no surprise that we get hello. Now, whenever we want to add something to my string inside of our, uh, the arguments, we're going to use the and sign or shift 7. So we'll do my string and we'll add a space and type goodbye. So what this is going to do is it's going to take my string it's going to add goodbye to it and let's see here you don't use the and sign you use the plus sign sorry about that um, thinking of a different different language there but whenever you want to add a string to um, another string you just use the simple addition operator so this will take hello and then add a space and then goodbye so we can go ahead and write this and see we get hello goodbye now we can come down here and we can type my string plus equals goodbye so now that what this is going to do is we'll just write that to the console so console dot write line my string okay so we have hello to begin with then we add goodbye to it but it doesn't actually change the value of my string my string my string is still equal to hello and by using my string plus equals space goodbye it's gonna take our hello right here it's gonna add a space and then goodbye so then when we print that out, we're, we're going to get this right here, but it's all stored in the variable my string. So we can go ahead and run this, and you can see we get hello, goodbye, and hello, goodbye. So that was a simple tutorial on how to use math operators inside of arguments. You can use other stuff besides the addition operator, such as multiplication, modulus, um, whatever you need to do. And you can use string concatenation by using the plus sign to add strings to each other um, and make them into longer strings or adding words to the strings. Now you can also use these operators inside of arguments or parameters if you want to call them these parentheses right here. Now if these are still confusing you a little bit um, that's perfectly fine we're going to be covering them more in detail later on when we learn how to make functions and methods but for now just remember that console.writeLine takes an argument of what it's going to write to the line. So you're going to give it something to print to the console, and this could be of any data type you want um, based on what it tells us we can do. So 
what I mean by that is when, when we add this parentheses right here, it gives us this little IntelliSense window. And we can look down through um, the different arguments that it'll take. So we've got bool value. Um, and then these, this right here is basically a, um, a summary of what it does. And this will take pretty much all of the primitive data type. And you can pass those to these parameters as arguments and it will print them out to the console. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial.